So let's look at task 18R. The question says, open the file saved in task 18Q, produce a report that shows all the cars made by Ford, displays only the make, model, color, S prize, extras, and valet fields within the width of a landscape page. Okay, so let's first of all look at these two. And then I will, I will now read out the rest. I will tackle the rest. Okay. Now, uh, shows all the cars made by Ford. Now, we've done this in task 18i. Okay. We've been able to create a query where the we're able to um, extract only the, the records that we make is only Ford. Where all the cars are made by Ford. Okay. So if you don't know how we did this uh, task 18i, you can just go back and watch the video, okay? So I'm going to use this uh, task 18i query to create my report. So I'm going to base my report on it, okay? So for you to create the report, you want to go to create tab and then report wizard here, okay? So by virtue of me already clicking the task 18i, it's already selected here. So, but if you cannot see it here, you can of course uh, uh, click this arrow here and then you can select it from this drop drop down right now what are the fields that we need to create this um report so make i have make model color s price i don't think year is not there extras and valet these are the fields that we need for this particular question okay so as far as i'm concerned this part is done Okay, so just watch the task 18i. Alright, so we're going to make sure that, so we've made sure that all the fields are chosen here. The next thing you want to do is um, making sure that your report will be in landscape page. So let's go, let's go ahead to nest. So I'm just going to nest that. Um, leave it the way it is like this and then go nest. No, um ordering or no sorting here we don't need sorting so you want to make sure it is in tabular form so make sure you click the tabular form here and then make sure you click on landscape and make sure you you also check this adjust the field width so all fields fit on a single page so it will be able to control all the fields to fit on a single page okay so we can go next and here this is where you're going to actually rename your task let me see which task is this task 18r so i'm just going to rename that task 18r so this has to be a report this time around not a query so i'm just going to uh, name it a report all right now i'm just going to finish up by allowing the preview the report radio button on right if you want you can actually click on modify um okay but we're going to get to that so let me just leave it at preview and then see how re the report will look like okay so i have this okay now the first thing you want to do is to switch to design view uh, sorry not design view but uh, report layout view sorry so i'm going to close this print preview just going to close it i want to go back to layout view Okay, you want to go, go back to layout view and make sure that you arrange your fields and details, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on the make and then hold down my control key and click on forward. And then that will select everything. So, I'm just going to arrange it, move it a little further. Okay, and then do the same thing here. Uh, move it to the left a bit. Okay, so just be checking all your labels to be sure that they are all visible. Okay, so I'm just going to also move this one a little bit to the left. So click on S prize, hold down your control key, click on the details and then move them to the left just to make space for these ones that are not showing pretty well, right? So you want to actually just adjust this. Okay, so I think in one of the extras, there's no extra here, so it's fine uh, because if, if you go back to the table, do, to the original table, probably nothing is there. So I'm just going to go and check and to be sure, right? 
me just move this to the to the left to the left okay so let me just go back to the query i um task 18i so i'm just gonna click there so which one is this so ford the third one white something so let me just go click it so let me see as you can see here there's nothing here actually so that's how it's going to be represented in the uh, report so it is actually fine okay that's what it's showing here okay okay so that's fine so all our labels are showing pretty well so let's see what the the next question so as far as we're concerned we've been able to make sure that it is on a landscape and then the all the fields are showing so we select this so the next line of the question is has the text report by and your name on the left in the header of each page so which means that report by your name must appear on the left in the header of each page so each page will have um each each page of your report will have the this particular text right so for us to do that we need to go to the design view okay so you want to go go up to this um page header you want to go down so whatever you put in the page header is going to appear on every page okay of your report but if you put anything anything you put within the report header is going to appear on only the first page but here we need to make sure that whatever we put in here is going to appear on every page which is the page header so i'm just going to select everything here i want to move everything down a little bit so that i can can create space for my uh information so i'm just gonna leave it at this so it says has a text report by and your name on the left in the header so i'm just gonna have let me just go use label here so if you hover over this this shows you as a label so i'm just gonna click and hold it here maybe just have everything in here and then type report let me see what it ha what you have there um report by and your name okay so report by my name is Kechuku Anolefo so i'm just going to write my name in full here Kechuku Anolefo sorry all right so it has to be left aligned so it's already left aligned for us right so maybe let me just make this a little further let me just move it to the left more maybe just to be at the extreme right there okay so i'll just select it i want it to be black i want it to be black proper because it's, it's in gray so i just want to make it oops no that's what i it's not what i want i actually want it to be black the text to be uh black okay sorry I need to select it what i need is here it's supposed to be here okay that's what i need i don't need a feel actually all right so you can go ahead to run this so let's go to home and then go to report view and then see how it looks like so this is how it's going to look like so report by kichikwano level okay so let's see but let me just go to print preview actually and then see whether it's uh, two pages okay so it has two pages here so which means that it should be able to actually uh, appear on every page okay so the second page it appeared so that is where you can have your information such that it will appear on every page okay so which is uh, the page header okay so that hand that handles uh, this particular part okay so i'm just going to uh, select that so has a title of all ford cars in stock center aligned at the top of the first page okay at the top of the first page so you want to select let me just um, copy this all right so where you want it to be is actually here so i'm just going to expand this more okay and then have my text in here all ford cars in stock and that thing i'm gonna do let me just make it properly black right good so if you go back and check again so let me use uh um, print preview is always the best to use 
and then see how it looks so it's supposed to be center aligned i forgot so i need to just click right there um you want to go to format one more time so you want to make the text center aligned right so that's for that at the top of of the first page so this that we did now it only going to appear on the top of the first page so if you go to the print preview let me just go back right there um sorry let me go to print preview and then get to, so you can see it appeared on the first page but, but of course if you go to the second page it does not appear okay so that is how it is done here because it is in the report header page header whatever that is in the page header will appear on every page but in the report header it appears on the first page okay so that done so let me just uh, highlight that okay so the, la the the next one will be has a suitable um stable stable subtitle request for mr okay let me just copy that report for mr david watson right so just gonna copy that right aligned in in red at the top of the first page so right at the top of the first page has to be right aligned right so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna pull down the this particular page sorry this page page header here i'm just gonna pull it down a bit okay so so that i'll be able to have space here so but the, the question says that it has to be right aligned so i'm just gonna have another label right here just gonna put another label right here and then have the text request for mr for mr david watson okay so now i'm just gonna select the that particular um label or placeholder you want to make sure sorry go to format make sure it is right aligned right let me select okay sorry let me just select this and then just push it up a, a notch you don't want it to be too much so let me just push up the page header a bit okay so i'll just select this and then change the color to red right so that's what i need to do request for mr david watson okay so that is done has a subtitle request for mr um david watson right aligned in red at the top of the first page okay so that is done so let's test our let's view our query sorry our report in the print preview so this has going to look like so it is in the top uh, right side of this right now if i want i can can write in the same in the same line but mm, it's not always the best okay so this is how it's supposed to be okay so everything looking good so that answers the question task 18 r so if you have any contribution any question any uh, correction you can leave a comment down below thank you so much for this one i will see you guys in the next one bye